Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, welcome back. We're back with another video. And today I'm going to show you um, how you render samples in Renoise to uh, file uh, to disk. Uh, this is a really cool function in case you um, are arranging in Renoise um, and you don't really want to, um, you know, you get stuck arranging. And basically you want to, um, take it into another DAO, i.e. Cubase, Logic, uh, whatever is your favorite um, arranging software. Um, I do believe that Renoise is very good for creativity. However, I, I tend to struggle a lot with the arrangement side of it. Um, hence um, the reason for this. So here we go. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so for example, um, I've got a song here which I'm going to load up. Now, I'm just going to check to see what the situation is with it, if the audio works or whatever, right? And then basically, once the song loads, let me just have a quick play. Okay, so you've got your song playing. So you've got your song playing and uh, you want to do a bit of arrangement. Now, this can be a bit tricky here. I do arrange here. I have arranged full songs in here. Uh, but it can be tricky. So basically, you go to the here where it says render, and basically, you set it up so that this works um, accordingly. So basically, you would go to here uh, and you would select basically automatic file naming. Now, it's important to make sure that all your tracks are not like me, all your tracks are named um, properly because when you export them to audio. Uh, this is this function here is going to name it uh, the, the name that you write here in the tracks. So basically use automatic file naming. Uh, this is handy revealing finder when you're finished. Hit your browse button and you set your folder where you want it to go. Now, um, as native, I which I wish it did, I don't know if this is an operating system thing or not, or it's a renoise thing. Uh, it doesn't actually allow you to create a new folder. So you've got to bear that in mind and create a new folder in the destination path where you're going to bounce to. Now, it's, I think it's important uh, that you want to make a folder that's the name of your song so you can export all of your sounds into there. Okay, so basically, for example, I've got this here. So let's just say your um, folder was called Definition of Music. Uh, you would just go to your definition of music folder and then you would basically um, uh, select it, press open, and then um, you would go to save it to there. Anyway, so you, what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that you've got um, your folder pre-named uh, as, you know, definition of whatever or not definition, but in the name of your song. OK, so OK, so before we export now. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that auto automatic file naming is ticked uh, and also revealing finder, which will help you to find it once it's been, um, you know, exported. Um, as you can see here, it comes up with track name. Um, now, you've got to make sure that all of your track names are named properly on your actual uh, song. Like, you know, don't do things like this. Have just like track two because it can be confusing later on. Uh, because what it's going to do is it's going to make all these audio files and um, it's going to name them whatever name that you put here. So it's a good idea and a good practice to be organized, have everything. You'll save a lot of time if you just label them as you go along. So once you finish that, you want to tick here uh, that says save each track into a separate file. And that is basically going to trigger each of these tracks in your song from here to here all the way through to be different files that you can then take into your DAO uh, for audio mix down, i.e. Cubase, Logic, whatever you fancy, ProSonus, you know, whatever. Um, so um, also your sample rate here wants to be the same sample rate that you have set up in your um, in here. So, so I've got 44.1 for this particular project. Um, and you would just basically make sure that yours says 44.1. Also, I'm using the 24-bit export. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can also uh, have a render mode, which is in real time, which probably I don't advise. 
uh, you to do, uh, which is where it will render and play along in time um, so you can listen to it and render. But, you know, it's better to render offline as it, as it is default. So I would leave that as is if you want it to come out uh, pretty much the same. Uh, there's a lot of other file options here, uh, but I just use track name, which is more sort of, uh, you know, sensible in, in my opinion. Then you just hit the start button and then basically it would just render away. And once it's finished, it will pop up and then you could use all of the audio files, which I will show you. So, yeah, so once you've bounced it all out, you're gonna it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have loads of tracks which you can then just import into Cubase uh or Logic or whatever for audio mix sound. I'm gonna do some videos on how to do that uh for the different DAOs coming shortly. If you have any questions, uh please comment down below. Um also if you found this video useful, please give me the big thumbs up. Um thank you very much for watching. Peace.